So do you believe in psychics? I don't know. I want to. Mm -hmm. It's always fascinated me. What about those ones that talk to the dead? That I need. That I really, really need. I'm actually a medium and psychic. You are? Yes. Mm -hmm. So are you getting a feel for me, anything? All right. So let me just start, um, because there's one person in particular that I'm feeling a strong connection to. So just... He's showing me um, the letter B, and he's also showing me the letter Z. My husband. Your husband, okay. Ben Z Zanwell is his middle name. Oh, wow, okay. Benjamin Zanwell. Okay. But I see with him, he's telling me that he, he struggled a lot. He had a lot of inner demons. He did. Um, depression, you know, there's a lot of problems that he struggled with. He was my first true love. Hmm. I always said we put the fun in dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. We couldn't live without each other. I'm feeling like I have to bring through drugs, struggling with addiction. Yeah. He fought it. He didn't want to be a drug addict, but his addiction was crazy. He's showing me he got sober before he passed over, right? Uh-huh. He did die abruptly? Yes. Okay. Sudden death. Yeah. Getting... But I see with him he's telling me the passing seems very unusual. I keep getting, like, chest pains. The night he died, he was just out of it. He was profusely sweating. I thought he was high. I thought he was back on drugs, and he told me he wasn't, but I didn't believe him. Immediately, I flipped out, thinking he was lying and that he was on drugs. We were kind of vicious to each other. I said horrible, horrible things, but I didn't mean any of them. He went to sleep and never woke up, and I found him. The autopsy showed me that he had no drugs in his system. He was sick, and I didn't know it, and I thought he was on drugs. I have so much guilt, and I didn't get any closure. I didn't get to tell him I'm sorry. Does he forgive me? Yes, he's telling me he's left that behind. He's not mad at you. He sees it as we were really soulmates. And it's OK for you to move forward. So let's fade out together. Just like I said that we were. It's not easy. Ben and I were more than just husband and wife. We were, we were best friends. We were everything to each other. For over 10 years, every night before I go to bed, I've said the same thing. Good night, Ben. I love you and I miss you so much. This reading with Thomas has given me something of Ben. Told me that if you can forgive me, you would. I don't have to beat myself up anymore. Good night.